All right, let's sit on the edge of the chair. And let's put our fingers on the bones here and start moving the bones a little bit back and a little bit forward. And a little bit back and a little bit forward. And as those bones goes back, something changes underneath the feet. As it goes back, you're a little bit more towards the heels. And as you go forward, you're a little bit further towards the toes. See if you can feel that and make the connection. Now, as you go forward and back, is one pelvis, one side moves more forward than the other or more back than the other? Or are they moving equal? I don't even feel them. <laughs> Too much fat. <laughs> no, right here on the corner. Not, not where the fat is, on the oh corner. My God. On, the, on the bone. <laughs> yeah, the bone, yeah. Yeah, we all have a little extra over there. <laughs> when I was younger, I wanted it to be completely flat and I never was able to. <laughs> We're not supposed to as women. And also we were raised in our generation to suck it in and have it completely, and that's not good for the bladder. The bladder sits right here over the bone here, and it needs to, to rest here. And so pushing the bladder creates all kinds of havoc inside. <clears throat> Good. And now try to do it only with the right side. See if you can move the right forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. It doesn't have to be big. But as you move that hip forward and back, Feel what it does to the leg and the movement, and you can actually see the movement of the knee going forward and the knee coming back. Kind of look at your own leg and see if the movement of the pelvis forward and back affect your leg. <clears throat> Beautiful. And now <coughs> let's do it with the other side. Back and forward. Back and forward. And it's probably feeling pretty much different. Even though it's the same movement, internally it feels different. Nice. And back to two sides together. And two sides together. And now stay back. Go to one side. Go all the way forward so your belly is like hanging loose. Go to the other side, feel the sitting bone and round it back and see if you can create a circle. You decide on the size of the circle. And I would like to draw your attention now, as you're doing the circle, to your ribs. And maybe put your fingers now on the ribs and feel how the ribs are assisting you in making that circle. Even though the muscles in your pelvis are the one that's doing the hard work, you have to be flexible and be able to shorten one side as you open the other, and then open this side to shorten the other side. And we're slowly creating an orchestra 
And you can feel the circling underneath your feet. One side of the foot gets a little bit more weight as you go over to the side and to the front. And so the circle underneath the foot is a mimic of the circle of your hip and the circle of your torso and rest. Good, take a deep breath. And exhale. And take another deep breath. And exhale. And take another deep breath. And exhale. Bring your feet together. And open your heels as far as you can without opening your knees. And now open the front of the foot and align it with the heels. Go ahead and put your hands over your knees, toes down, toes down. Turn the elbows out and lean forward and look down and look forward. Look down, so you're turning your head a little bit further down, so it's looking at the floor, and now you're bending a little bit at the neck, enough for the eyes to come up to the horizon. And down, and the horizon. And down, and to the horizon and down and to the horizon and now press with your hands and lift yourself and keep looking at the horizon inhale lift the torso a little bit higher bend the elbow and go forward just as far as it's comfortable look down and look to the horizon look down and look to the horizon. Look down. Look to the horizon and lift your body up. We'll do it one more time. And inhale, lift the torso. Bend the elbows. And go forward to the diagonal. And look down and to the horizon and down and to the horizon and down and to the horizon press the hands into the legs and lift yourself let's go just a little bit forward and see if you can keep your eyes on the horizon and come back and stay on the horizon. And forward, stay on the horizon. And up back and stay on the horizon. So you inhale and the horizon and back and, and we're gonna do it a few more times and I want you to notice the bend in the neck and the bend in the lower back that happens at the same time. So inhale and go forward look at the horizon and the lumbar and the neck curvature are both engaging and then you lift and you relax the curve in both places and up and find those two curves and up and relax those two curves. Yes? You feeling it? Mm -hmm. Good. And up. And find them. And up. And relax. And one more time. Up. And find it. And up. And relax. Now let's take the your right leg back a little bit and your left leg a little bit forward. 
and we're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna come up and you're gonna tilt and you're gonna slide to the edge of the chair until you have weight on your legs. And then you're gonna come up. But you have to keep your eyes on the horizon. And your knee has to be completely aligned. It cannot fold. So, inhale, eyes on the horizon, tilt both arches, slide off the chair and see if it can take a little bit weight on the legs and come back. Good. And you don't have to get up. You just search for that place where you actually fall off the chair and you're gonna start coming. But if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Just stay where you're searching. And you might want to have a little bit more wide width. There you go. And inhale. It's important to look at the horizon. And, and the elbows are out and the two arches are engaging. So inhale, and forward, sliding out of the chair. Yeah. Good. Okay, and rest, that's good. Rest the legs and let's change the position of the legs. Elbows are out, eyes on the horizon, inhale, lean forward, slide forward on the chair until you kind of slide out and up. And forward and slide. See if you can soften the, so it's not a oomph on the way up. So you're kind of sliding. And if you don't get up, you don't get up. It doesn't matter. It's, it, we're looking for the quality. Because we can do all of that with an effort. You know, so we're trying to get it a little bit better, a little bit smoother, a little bit more coordinated. Okay, so. Inhale, eyes on the horizon, and keep on lifting the eyes as the arches are building. Yeah, good. And let's try it one more time. Inhale, and take the time to slide out. There you go. And yes, it's a lot of weight on the legs. Okay, ta-ta, ta-ta. Let's go into a completely different thing. Let's take the right hand up above the head and a little bit back. And we're gonna take the elbow forward and across above the other knee. And inhale and open the elbow back. So the corner of the elbow is aligned with the knee. So I'm not trying to go down. I'm trying to create a rotation and then bend over the knee and open. So there's so many ways to do everything, right? So rotation and then flexion. And inhale and breathe and open the elbow and try to get flatness here as much as you can. So the pectoralis muscles are actually getting a little stretch. They're, okay, t thank you, I'm down. So there's two muscles in the pectoralis. There is the big one, and then there's a smaller one underneath. 
and that's the one that I'm trying to get us to actually uh, get it stretched just as much as you can. With the breath, don't force it. So inhale, rotate and then flex over the opposite knee and then inhale and open, 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 open as much as you can and inhale and rotate and flex and inhale and open, 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 open and over and open, open, open and rest. And the other outside. <coughs> so we're gonna inhale. We're gonna rotate first and then we're gonna curve over while you exhale. You inhale, you come to the center, but you keep on opening the elbow so you get a nice stretch. And inhale, rotate, exhale. Bend forward diagonally and inhale, center and give the elbow there and rotate and down. Inhale and open and last time and down. Inhale and open, 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 open and rest. Okay, so now we're gonna <coughs> add the same movement. So once you're here and you're going down, instead of just going down with the nose straight, we're gonna turn the head and the neck. And suddenly you'll be able to go a little bit lower. And then when we come to open, hold on one second, when we come to open, instead of just opening, now we're gonna allow the torso to rotate. Okay, so we're taking it a little bit further. So let's bring the arm up. Inhale, rotate, and as you go down, look to the side and up towards the ceiling. Inhale up, come over here, open the elbow and keep on rotating the spine with the elbow. And come forward, across, down, look to the side and up towards the ceiling. Inhale, come forward and open the elbow and keep on rotating the spine. And forward and down and rotate the head and look up towards the ceiling and up and rotate 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 as the elbow keeps on going back and last time on this side down and over up and rotate and keep on bringing the arm back and come to the center and rest. Don't push, don't, don't try to stretch, just allow it with the, this is your router, this is your mover. So don't try to go, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, let's do the other side. So over and down as the eyes go up towards the back and up towards the ceiling and come back, open that elbow and rotate the spine. Come forward, 
and elbow goes down over the opposite knee. The head turns to the side and up towards the ceiling. And then you rotate back up. Elbow goes back and the spine keeps on rotating. Third time. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale to a full rotation. And the fourth time, over and down as the head turns. Coming up. And turn, 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 turn. And rest. Good. Pum 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 and swing, and swing, and swing, and swing. Make sure you're not hitting yourself on the chair. And swing back and forth, forward and back, and relax. Rotate the shoulders up and backwards, up and backwards, and up and backwards. Put both hands on the, in the back of your head. Bring both elbows forward and very softly round your spine from the top of your head, through your neck, in between your shoulder blades, to the middle of your back. Now your elbows are right over your thighs. Move the elbows closer towards your belly button and move the elbows towards your knees and bring the elbows towards your belly button and bring the elbows towards your knees. It's very small movement and go back and force. Remember not to push your hands on your head. Don't force. You're in the rounded position. Come back to the middle of your thigh. Lift your spine up, open the elbows, look up, lift your chest up, open your arms up, bring your spine back to center and drop. So we're gonna do it now in one movement. So we'll start here, we'll bring the elbows forward, we're gonna round the back, We're gonna move forward, we're gonna move back, we're gonna lift the spine, we're gonna sit straight, we're gonna lift the spine, we look, we're gonna look up towards the ceiling. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna open the arms, we're gonna bring the spine straight, and we're gonna drop the arms. And we're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna bring the hands behind the head, we're gonna bring the elbows forward. We're gonna round the spine. We're gonna move forward. We're gonna move back. We're gonna build up to straight spine. We're gonna lift the head. We're gonna look up. We're gonna open the elbows. We're gonna lift the arms. We're gonna bring the spine back to center. And we're gonna draw. Good, and move all the way back to the end, to the back of the chair. As far as you can. So you have the whole spine touching. See if you can press the lumbar to touch the chair and let go. See if you can press 
at the opening of the heart center and let go. See if you can press in between your shoulder blades and let go. And the lumbar and let go. And the heart center and let go. And the chest and let go. And down, middle, and upper. And now press the whole thing all the way. And see if you can shift your weight to one side and the other without letting go of the chair. So your shirt is on the chair, your spine is on the chair, and you're not leaving it, so you are sliding without making air bubbles. So you're moving the ribs and you're moving, you're slithering like a snake. From side to side to side. There's a lot of little muscle between every single vertebra and it's wonderful to waken them up. Notice that when you go to your left, you lift your shoulder a little bit. See if you can go to the left now without lifting the shoulder. Oh. There you go. And open between your legs so you have nice space. Good. All right. Let's shut your eyes for a minute and put the attention inside your own body and into your breath. We worked with the shifting the weight forward and up to begin with. And then we worked with the upper torso. And on the next breath, you can open your eyes. And thank you very much. Thank you. Ooh.